In today's video, I'm going to be recreating my dream bedroom in Blocksburg. So I was scrolling through Pinterest when I came across this beautiful bedroom. And because it's about to be winter where I live, how cozy would it be to have this room? Because I can't have it in real life, why not just build it in Blocksburg? Okay, now luckily for me, there's two images of the bedroom. And it doesn't look that big, so I'm thinking maybe just like four. Also, excuse my voice. I mentioned this in my last video, but I'm sick. So that's why my voice sounds crusty, dusty, musty. Okay, I think that's good enough for the room for this wall over here it has to be custom because as you can see there is like a little skylight okay this is going to be a little bit tricky but you know what we can make it work okay maybe if i put like a horizontal wedge there that kind of acts like the wall i'm gonna make her skinny that's kind of what the wall is gonna look like it's gonna go like on a slope and then the roof's kind of gonna go on this angle it kind of doesn't make any sense but you know what just trust the process okay guys this is so confusing why do i feel like i'm doing like hardcore maths right now i swear every single time i do a build video i always choose the most complex way of doing things like surely there's an easy way of doing this okay wait moment of truth you guys want to a little secret about me i actually have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> my voice is so bad i shouldn't be filming videos but you know what who can stop me my doctor's like alaska you shouldn't be using your voice right now and i'm like girl okay there we go that's kind of like half of the roof done as you can see it's like slanted now we just need to add like the skylight and for the skylight i'm just going to use this semi-transparent cube and kind of just place it in the middle and as you can see in this photo here it only has like one skylight oh my gosh guys i'm so stupid you know what i just realized i'm forgetting as you can see it doesn't go straight into an angle it kind of has like a little flat border at the back so i guess what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to add that border because alaska is a moron okay see just like that perfect so then we can fit the bed back here but then it goes straight into the angle roof the roof is definitely like the trickiest bit of this entire build <laughs> but i feel like once we get the roof done it'll be easy from there okay that's kind of like the shape of the roof and then in the middle here is where i want to add the skylight okay there we go the skylight is officially on finally now just to give it like a little bit more depth and to make it actually look like a window i'm gonna add these standard square beams kind of like around the border of the window the original photo doesn't have this but I feel like it just gives it more depth. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. <gasps> that looks so cute. And the color of the room is just white. So that's what I'm going to stick with. But obviously, once you add lighting in that, the walls will like have a different tone. Now, finally, we just need the actual roof. Okay, that is the roof fully done. And in this photo, this is kind of like where the closet and the door is to the room. So we'll just add that quickly. Actually, before we add anything, we need a floor. So what I'm going to do to make this floor look more realistic is by is by layering the floor so if you put multiple layers on your floor as you can see it kind of makes it more like detailed compared to if you only put one layer like this also i feel like this is all like a door that has all her storage because as you can see in the photo this is like her closet so that's what i'm gonna do first okay i feel like this modern clothing rack actually really goes with the theme because as you can see she kind of has like books at the bottom and then she has clothes on like the second shelf so that's what i'm gonna do so if i add like a little oak shelf there and then put the clothing rack on top like this see that's kind of cute and she kind of has like beige color clothes so um we'll just stick to like neutral clothes so like maybe this cloudy gray and then down here it looks like she has some records so instead of records i'm just gonna put like books down here and if i zoom up even more it kind of looks like she has a little bit of shelving up here as well so up here i can just add like random like makeup and stuff actually no i feel like these stacked towels would look kind of good and then we can just change the fabric there we go it's kind of looking good and it looks like she has a sliding door actually it doesn't even look like she has a door it kind of just looks like an opening so that's what i'm gonna do we'll just add this like clear opening like that there we go that's actually looking good and obviously as you can see she has like a little guitar over here i think she has this one and it's like painted black and then she has like some cute little photo frames here and like a seat and a few lanterns at the bottom i'm not sure which couch i want to use i think i'm just gonna use this simple armchair because it actually looks pretty comfy and then she has like a massive white pillow on it okay and now for the lanterns um why have i never thought of adding lanterns in my boxburg build because she kind of has like a big lantern and a little lantern oh i didn't notice this before but she also has like a little star i don't know if, i don't know if we have stars we do oh my gosh perfect she has like a star over here and like a star here oh my gosh i didn't notice this before but they have like a little cat on the bed that is so cute and i can't really see like what's on this side of the room but i'm just assuming there's like a door and like a little entry area 
area. So we'll just use this tall modern door because I feel like it goes with the vibe. And I feel like she has like a cute little welcome mat. Okay, I feel like this side of the room is all done. So now we can work on my favorite bit, which is the bed. Okay, so the bed's gonna be a little bit tricky, but as you can see, it kind of has like a wooden border at the back here. And the bed is also on some crates. So luckily for me, Bloxburg has crates. They, they have them. I just don't know what they're called. Wait, is this it? A wooden bath mat. No. I know they have it because I've used it before. I just don't know what it's called. Hay bale. Looks like it's a hay bale. My voice just broke. <laughs> no, I know they have it because I used it in my mansion. That's how I built the chimney. I will literally spawn in my mansion just to find what it's called. This is frustrating me. Okay, here is my mansion. So let's go into build mode. Oh, they're called cinder blocks. Okay. Okay, back to this cute little bedroom. What I'm going to do is use these cinder blocks to kind of act like wooden crates. See, they look like little crates. Actually, I feel like in the picture, the wood's like more lighter like this. Okay, and now let's add the bed on top. See, there we go. That looks better. And it looks more realistic as well. Okay, now for the fun bit, which is coloring the bed. This bed looks really comfy. And it looks like they have like brown bed sheets with like a beige blanket. Oh my gosh, how many pillows does she have? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually not that many. I've got, I think I've got like seven. Also, as you can see in the photo, I think it's like Christmas themed because she has a lot of Christmas items. I just noticed that. Okay, I feel like that's enough pillows. So now for the blankets. Okay, because this looks very like cozy and laid, I'm just going to add a bunch of these messy long blankets to kind of give it like a lot of texture. She has like a little crate on her bed. It's like a little coffee mug and um, a candle. There we go. Look how visually accurate that is. And then finally, she has a computer. Look at that. She has a laptop right next to her handle, which could catch on fire. And then she has a hot drink that could just spill on her bed. I could not do that with free cats. No, no ma'am. Okay, so we'll just put the little laptop here. Okay, that's it for the bed. Also, I zoomed in a little bit. She kind of has like a side table over here. So we'll add that real quick. Oh my gosh, and I think she has the same lighting as this industrial lamp. Like, tell me that doesn't look the same as the photo. She also has like a little gingerbread house um, on the table because it is obviously Christmas in this photo. But instead, we'll just add some books. Actually, no, we'll add some magazines because they look more aesthetic pleasing and then finally as you can see she has a few fairy lights um, on the border of her bed so for this we'll just use the colorful string lights and just change the color and if we zoom in we can see like a little she has like a little clothes basket on the end here and then she has her little slippers on the floor I see them slippers and they look really comfy okay I feel like that is this side of the room done so now we have to work on this side now this is the photo that I literally fell in love with and so firstly we'll start off with the mirror and for this, I'm actually going to custom make it. So we'll add the mirror right here. And then along the border, we'll add these standard square beams. There we go. That actually looks kind of cute. And now we just have to add string lights around the mirror. Because obviously, as you can see, she has some. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is so light. I have to change that. Okay, and now for the photo frames. It looks like she has like a little air vent down here. So we'll add these little like outdoor vents at the bottom here. Okay, now for the photo frames. Okay, so she kind of has like two photo frames kind of close together and then she has three more up here so we'll add these paintings and then just like shape them down one here and then one like that oh actually I might use these modern square paintings instead because they kind of have like a white border which is what her photos have and then she has like a poster here and then a poster like on the floor okay and to put like the photo on the floor I can use a basic shape and kind of like angle it okay kind of put the photo frame like that and then we can angle it because it's kind of like leaning up against the wall okay there we go i feel like it's coming along nicely and she also has like a few plants here and there oh my gosh could you imagine having a room like this in real life okay and now for this string lights obviously as you can see she has string lights all along here which is just so pretty and kind of just put it like along the border here okay and i feel like this wall is like a little bit too white oh my gosh i wish blocks like had like a nice shade of beige like this is <laughs> the best this is the beige it looks yellow oh my gosh you know what this room is actually looking very vibey right now. And then over here, you can't really see like what's on this side of the room. So I'm assuming she has some like more dresses. She could potentially have like a little TV. So what I think she has is like two dresses like this. And I feel like there's more books everywhere. So I'm just going to put some books on the floor. And because it's dark over here, maybe like a little floor lamp. Okay, I think that's the room all done. So I'm just going to go quickly change these decals. But one thing I feel like she could have done to make this room look a little bit better 
is maybe make this back wall like more dark. See how much better her room would look if this wall was like a darker color. All right guys, the bedroom is finally done and you're probably wondering, Alaska, why is it raining? I will show you, okay? I don't want to show you guys the outside. You're going to laugh at me. Don't laugh. Okay, anyway, let's go inside. Okay, now coming inside, we have this beautiful little entry area. I didn't really know what to do here because it was very dark. So I just added like a cute little side table. And also I didn't really know what to do here either because it was kind of like a little blank area. And then coming over here, this is a little side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously, it's not going to be like exactly the same. And guys, this is why I made it thunderstorm. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. Oh my God, you can actually see the splashes on the window. It is so cool. Why? Why have I never noticed that before? I kind of had to find like similar decals and I just assumed this was like an ACDC record player but yeah I didn't really know what to do for these decals but she was kind of going for like a little farmhouse vibe. And then over here is my favorite view of the room because I mean look how beautiful and visually accurate that is. I think it looked pretty accurate especially the bed and the whole crates back here. And then over here we have just her little guitar and her little closet. I actually really like the way this closet turned out and she also has like a little sitting area and honestly this is oh i like the room from this view but anyway guys that was me recreating my dream bedroom in blocksburg if you guys want me to recreate your dream bedroom make sure you send a photo in my discord server and i could potentially do that in the future so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one bye guys i can't do my outro my voice is so bad